So my filament sensor is finally working. Um, uh, I just have to enable it. Now, um, for, if you want to see if it's working or not, do Cory underscore filament underscore sensor and sensor equal. If you named your sensor named as filament sensor, then it will tell you filament uh, detected. Now, if you if the the filament runs out, then it will say filament um, not detected. Um, so I use Ellis's code, and I'll just go over some of the stuff that I did. Uh, I put most of the stuff uh, before all the other macros because the other macros um, you'll want to put uh, some code. But basically, I put all the code uh, from uh, Ellis's code. Um, he also recommends M109 and M90 on GitHub. This basically doesn't wait for the hot end or the bed temp to stabilize. That way when you resume uh, after changing filament, it goes right away. Because if you don't have this, then it'll just wait and you might be oozing some filament. Um, so here's a filament sensor where I declared it. Uh, I had to, it was actually doing the opposite, so I had to switch the pen. So I put an exclamation mark there on PG15. Um, pause on run out true means automatically it's going to run the pause macro uh, when the filament um, runs out and then this code is basically disables filament sensor uh, for the first uh, for the first first second uh, when your printer uh, starts up to um, and it's basically the uh, your set filament sensor this part here unless you enable it it's not gonna work so uh, on your start print macro you'll have to put that to equal zero now I don't use a macro on on the printer.cfg you can also put it directly on your slicer which is how I like to do it that way I have more control without having to restart uh, my printer every time I change something but it's it's up to you however you want to do it but that's how I've been doing it uh, when I started with Clipper on my Ender 6 a long time ago, and I just, I just kept using that. Um, so let me open up Super Slicer real quick and show you. I'll post all of these stuff that I'm using. Um, I mean, if you want to use my stuff. So my uh, stuff is under Print Settings, Custom G Code, and here's the, the Start Macro. This is all my stuff. Um, I'll just go over it real quick. Uh, it's gonna do printer model check, diameter check, uh, forward firmware check. Um, the important part comes here. M104 set extruder temp, bed temp. Wait for bed temp. All right. Wait for extruder temp. So it's actually gonna wait for like um, not all the way, but the bed temp. It's gonna wait for the bed bed to heat up all the way. And also, it's going to wait for the extruder to heat up to about 150, so it doesn't start oozing. It's going to home after that. Um, oh, wait. This is the wrong one. Sorry. No. <laughs> it's the wrong That's my... It's completely the wrong one. That's for my Prusa. All right. Sorry. Um, so, I've got Absolute uh, Coordinates Extruder Relative Mode. Uh, it's going to set the final temp, bed temp. It's going to set temporary nozzle temp to 150 so it doesn't ooze. Um, that's what I'm going to use for homing. Um, it's going to also uh, wait for bed to heat up. All right, so it's going to wait for, for ABS, it's going to wait till it's 115. Um, also, also, this part's important. I have a enclosure. Oh, oh this is the wrong one. Sorry, this is for TPU. No, <laughs> hold on. Um, sorry, I'm supposed to open up Voron ABS, which is what I'm using. Okay, let's try that again. So, use absolute coordinates, um, the important stuff, set final temp. Um, I set M104, which sets the hot end to 150 degrees, so it doesn't ooze, but it heats up, so I, I can heat up and ready to go. Um, also, I will wait for the bed to heat up to 115 uh, or whatever the the a set bed temperature is. Um, I do have a set filament sensor, sensor equal enable one. So I enable the sensor uh, when I start printing. So this is my start macro 
in my slicer. All right, and also I do have a temperature weight sensor. I have a, a enclosure sensor uh, that waits until the enclosure is at least 37 degrees Celsius. All right, so nothing gets, uh, it doesn't go farther until the temperature gets 37. Once that happens, I do home, I do uh, quad gantry, and then I do uh, bed mesh, 11 by 11 bed mesh, and then I load the bed mesh, the defaults. Uh, and then it's it's gonna uh, set the fine. It's gonna set the uh, hot end somewhere like a slightly up in front, and then it's gonna set the final nozzle temp. Uh, wait for the bed to bed and nozzle temp to stabilize. It's gonna prime the nozzle on the left side, and it's gonna start printing. All right. Um, the end code not too important, but I uh, disable the filament sensor there. So I use that, like I said, it's a lot easier to work with, especially if you're changing a lot of stuff on the go, but you can also use um, a print start here. I don't use this. I just copy and pasted this from somebody on GitHub, but I don't use it. Um, I just use the slicer. It just works out. I, I had too much trouble trying to get somebody else's code working. Um, but yeah, it's everything's working and I would put this code, this filament sensor uh, macro add before other macros. And I think I cover everything. There's a pause and a resume. Um, I just straight copied from Ellis' site. But I'll put my latest uh, code um, updated printer.cfg with working uh, filament sensor, which is great. So I'm, I'm gonna run out of s filament real quick here. Uh, it's going to run out of filament anytime soon and then I'm gonna put some red in there and we'll see how it goes but um, yeah the filament sensor is still green it, it will turn red when it runs out <laughs> 